A blessed morning, Grateful Gap family. Welcome back to the Grateful Gap podcast. Here on Wednesdays, I come at you with different wellness topics. Um, this week, it, it'll be dedicated towards health in different ways, but um, it's going to be something that you know I look forward to having growth in personally, and I'm looking forward to having the benefits of. Um, but before I get into that, I get the record to the daily verse. Daily verse for the day of May 24th, 2023, derived from the book of Proverbs, chapter 22. Verse 6 in the state says follows. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. And um, this morning, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be getting information from patientinfo.com. Again, patient.info. Um, and it'll be five benefits of reading. Again, five benefits of reading. And I'm about to get directly into it. Why make reading a healthy habit this year? For many of us, busy work schedules, hectic home lives, and filled social calendars often take priority over downtown with a good book. Whether you easily get through 10 or more books a year or wish to set a more moderate regular reading goal, there are many benefits of reading. Reading a, excuse me, reading a book benefits your physical, mental, and spiritual health, and those benefits can last a lifetime. If you're wondering how to get into reading while balancing a busy lifestyle, considering taking regular short reading breaks throughout your week. If you're really if you're really strapped for time, you could even explore short stories or poems. The important thing is to find the material you enjoy. I'm about to dive into the top five benefits of reading for your health. One, relieving stress and depression. Reading a book forces us to be still which calms us and take us, takes us out of an action mode. When our bodies are at a rest, psychological changes take place, our breathing and heart rate slow down, and our blood pressure lowers. Stress management. When you start reading for enjoyment, your focus is shifted away from things that may be causing you stress. This is true of a lot of leisure activities, but becoming immersed in a plot or narrative and absorbing new information requires a high level of concentration. This makes reading one of the most effective activities for stress relief. Bibliotherapy. Experts also recognize the effectiveness of reading as therapy, known as bibliotherapy, for mental health problems such as depression and anxiety. Fictional works carefully selected by professionals can not only provide an escape from negative thoughts, but enable people to connect emotionally with characters and reflect on their own feelings. Two, exercising your brain. Just as physical exercise improves your body strength and agility, getting into the habit of reading improves your brain function, also called your cognitive function. Brain activation and plasticity. As you read, you are constantly absorbing new information from plots and characters in fictional narratives to novel ideas and facts in non-fictions. This brings neural pathways in the brain to life and increases neuroplasticity, the ability to rewire and form new connections and communications between different areas of the brain. Creative hobbies like painting or playing music have a similar impact on cognition. Memory training. Reading new information improves your memory because your brain is constantly making new memories, which involves the creation of new sna sna synapses, excuse me, creation of new synapses that connect neurons in the brain's nervous systems. Three, learning empathy. When you develop a reading habit, it's, it's possible to form new perspectives that positively impact how you relate to the world around you. Reading about people's experiences, cultures, and relationships in books can increase our self-awareness and make sure, ma excuse me, and makes us use more empathetic towards others. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Look at your hair done. Close my door. Four, improving your communication skills. The strong correlation between reading and vocabulary range is heavily researched in school and children. Oh my gosh. In school children, excuse me. Continuing to develop large vocabularies, the reading later in life is not only great brain exercise, but may be advantage, advantageous both professionally and socially. Five. 
Five, perfecting your nighttime routine. Although reading itself is not proven to make you sleepier, creating a bedtime reading habit is a healthier and useful way of signaling to your body to wind down for sleep. Reading before bed is a good habit as it helps us to transition from wakefulness to sleepiness. For best results, you may want to choose a print book rather than reading on a screen since the light emitted by the device could keep you awake and lead to other unwanted health outcomes. So again, y'all, um, I'm glad I did you know, do this. I'm definitely working on my reading as well. Um, I want to be able to slow down. I speak fast, that type of stuff. But you know, you can, you can catch this information from patient.info.com. And again, it's the five benefits of reading. So make sure y'all check it out, patient.info.com. I'm definitely looking forward to this week. Um, check me out tomorrow for the sports huddle. I'm looking to, um, you know, preview some sports information, different areas, um, different sports news, bring it to y'all, sports results, all that good stuff. Um, but this Friday, I will be I will be having fun facts on the United Kingdom. Um, and, and again, shout out to Portugal. They're one of the newest countries as well. And, and this morning or last night, um, I, got a, I got information that I have a, a growing audience in the country of Ireland. So I uh, appreciate the people in Ireland for supporting my podcast as well. And I'm definitely looking forward to being able to, you know, bring y'all in the spotlight and, and share some fun information about y'all country to show my support and show my appreciation for y'all. I love y'all. I love everybody who's um, been on me with this journey, who's new to the journey, who's been there from the beginning, whatever it may be. I appreciate everybody's love and support. Um, most importantly, Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for life today, Father God, allowing us to be able to have this moment. I pray and ask that you allow us to be able to have the best today because today, Father God, Allow us to be able to be focused on what we want to be able to accomplish in the now, in the moment that we have currently in our life. I thank you for everything you're doing, everything you've done, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on all major podcast platforms, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. You can Google Grateful God Podcast. Any, any other major podcast platform will pop up where my information is available. Again, I appreciate everybody's love and support. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for the Grateful Gal Sports Hotel, followed by Fun Fact Fridays on Friday about the United, uh, excuse me, about the United Kingdom. And um, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. But thank you guys for today. I'm looking forward to today. So y'all be blessed. Have a great day, and I'll see y'all around. Peace.